What's up everybody, Tindo here, that there's Hannah Warrior Princess. We're up nice and early this morning. Gonna go do some thrifting in a bit, but right now I'm doing some vinyl work, getting some of that out of the way. Hannah's about to run off and meet some stranger in a parking lot selling this weed. Yay! You better not come back without any money. <laughs> now go! You hey, guys, bye! You guys stick around, we're gonna do something fun today. <laughs> You got my money? Well, it's on my phone, but yeah. <laughs> we took PayPal, no cash. I was gonna make you make it rain. <laughs> hey, hey. Got a ton of things to ship out today. So before we get ready with our day, I've been packaging up a bunch of stuff. So this is honestly just eBay stuff. So this is only about half of it, but we sold some pretty cool things. I've got this little box here that's got the uh, palm tree lamp in it that you saw on the channel a couple of days ago. This is that Corningware sauce maker that I found with the lid. This is that polka dot Pyrex bowl. And then there's a bunch of little pops in here. But honestly, this is what I'm most excited about. This is a customized pair of shorts that I made. I cut these little Bowser and Mario pieces off of an old sweatshirt that was torn up and not sellable and just going to go in the trash. But I thought they were pretty cool. Someone else thought they were pretty cool too because they bought them. Yay. I've got to get to work. <laughs> We've got so many packages. Oh my goodness. We did not expect to have this many today. All right, how do we do this? One bag. Thank you. Full of packages. Two bags full of packages. Thank you. And then no the lamp. This beautiful, beautiful lamp. I'm almost sad we didn't keep it, but we got some pretty pennies out of it, so not a biggie. You got all that? Packages are good. I'm gonna check our P.O. box while we're here. Ooh, a letter. We'll open this up in just a minute. We got a letter. We got a letter from you, who? You wanna guess who it's from? Rose. Did you look? No, I just assumed. <laughs> so uh, Rose sent us a package last week and one the week before she sent us a card this week or an envelope. I don't know what's in it. Luckily, I just happen to have a pair of scissors on hand. I think there's an envelope in the envelope. Another envelope. <laughs> All right, here we go. And <laughs> it's stickers. Uh, the last sticker she sent me, there was like a really cool Spider-Man in there. Rose, comment below, where do you get these stickers at? Did you make these or where do you acquire them from? Because like- Oh, that's awesome. I love these nonsense stickers. Like this Vader says, Bot Supreme. That's amazing. That's beautiful. Dude on a motorcycle and another cool Spider-Man one. She sent, it was like the black Venom Spider-Man yeah, face. Great. Let's rock. If you only knew the power of the dark side. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put that one on something. Yeah. I think that one's gonna go on one of my flight cases. Definitely. That's so cool. Well Rose, thank you so much. Stickers are like my favorite thing. And honestly, it's kind of funny because like I have a sticker obsession and I've got like my traveling cases that I put a lot of stickers on, but I've kind of stopped like putting anything that's not square so I can like maximize the real estate. Put them all together. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that bot supreme on one. Or I, or I should give it to one of my brothers because I always tell them they're bots. <laughs> so we've been sitting here for like five minutes trying to get the stickers back in the Ziploc bag. Rose, you're a wizard. How did you get them in there? You might just have to put this on something today. Yeah, just, we can't. Neither one of us can get it back I'm in there. i got to bend it. <laughs> I, apparently we're terrible at putting things in Ziploc did bags. It. Did you do it? I did it, but it's bendy. All right, well, Rose's official title is Wizard is Supreme. 
Also, beautiful name, by the way. Quite like it. <laughs> So we are at one of our flea markets and uh, the people that run the place asked me if I would make them some vinyl for the front windows in exchange for some favors. So we're gonna be throwing up some vinyl today. This is looking pretty good. The only thing out of place, someone moved some stickers. It's all right, I'll put them back. We actually had a couple people walk out with Nerf guns while we were here, so that's good. But uh, we gotta, gotta get to thrifting. Well, dumb old me didn't think about it. I should have gotten the before and after sign, but we got these guys hooked up with antiques, furniture, home decor, collectibles, metalwork, and much more. And their very own vinyl hours sign. It's pretty sweet, just happy to do it. It looks good. Hopefully, it, hopefully it'll attract more people in here to shop. Of course, it doesn't say toys, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, toys. Toys both aesthetically wouldn't have looked good in that space, and also, it, I'm not really any majority in there. I'm the only one with toys, but I like it. It looks good from back here. All right, now let's uh, let's keep moving. Let's get to some Goodwills before it's too late. Here we go, Goodwill. Let's find some goodies. To be completely honest with you, my expectations are pretty low for today's uh, day of thrifting. Just the whole town seems dead. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of restocking going on at the Goodwills, but I'm not gonna leave with nothing because you see this? It's a little puzzle ball. And these actually resell pretty well, so I'll be getting that. Look, a plug and play. I think we'll get that and put that in the flea market booth. We've sold every other one. Yeah, we've sold a bunch of them. These though, we sold a busted up one of these the other day for what, like 40 bucks? Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, we gonna gonna get some money. Let's go. I love these. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that just now. We were doing a dance, but we were like so in sync. It may not have translated. Doing a dance. So I shipped off that lamp today and I immediately found another little stained glass quirky good lamp. It's a little seashell. This one's really cute. It's only $6.50. It does have a pretty substantial crack in it. I did find one online um, in box sold for $45, but with the crack, that's very difficult. I really want it, but I don't know, maybe I can like get like 20 bucks out of it and is that worth it? Probably not, <sighs> but I want it. I don't know, um, we'll think. Is this for fondue? It is, I want it, I want it. So I'm in the back of the store and uh, someone has brought some games back here and ditched them. But uh, even though it doesn't have a manual, I think we're gonna take Looney Tunes. I think we better buy that. All right, first stop was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of walked in there and didn't feel really great about today. We've just, we've had a few really good days in a row. And then like, it's a Thursday afternoon as we're shooting this and everything's kind of not dead, but like simmering down. And we went in the Goodwill and they weren't restocking, but we walked around a few times and then they started restocking. So we got our hands on some good stuff. I found this abandoned in the back of the store like somebody wanted it and then didn't. Did you even see it? That's awesome. Yeah, this is one hand that's probably gonna wanna play. I also got not only a Rubik's Cube, a branded Rubik's Cube, so it's a good one, but uh, what would you call this? Not, it's not made by Rubik's, so it's not a Rubik's ball, but- A puzzle uh, ball. We had one of these in our toy booth, and yeah. it sold. Yeah, well, and I honestly, I 
I made a, I made a big mistake and didn't look it up. They're not super valuable, but they were worth more than the couple bucks I sold it for at the toy booth. So I'll be uh, putting those in the toy booth. And then we've sold a ton of these in our flea market booth. Uh, I don't know how they sell on eBay. I don't think too well. They probably go for like 15 bucks. But we don't need to talk about my stuff. Hannah got some crazy stuff. So talk about this thing first. So this really like it. This is a stained glass shell lamp and I don't know, I, I sold a, a stained glass lamp for quite a bit of money the other day and this is just another very specifically shaped lamp but I thought yep. it might be worth it. Well, it is a bit damaged but I think it's it's if nothing else so fun I, to put the booth. I guess if we don't sell it on e are you going to try to sell it on eBay or are you going to put it in your... Yeah, I think I'll try it on eBay first. Well, we're looking for tons of, what would you call this? Curious, yeah. uh, odd things like this to put in her dishes and lamp and all things good booth that we're going to open up here real soon. Uh, and then these... Um, Find of the day. I can't believe it. Because the first time you found one of these dishes and told me how much it was worth, I was like, you're dumb. Yeah. There's no way. It's so crazy. Like These are apparently really rare. This like celestial pattern. Um, I've never seen the, sh the uh, wine glasses before, but I've seen these before on eBay. What was the last one you found? A coffee cup? It was, yeah, it was a mug. And you sold it for like... like I think it was 30 bucks. 30, 40 bucks. Yeah. yeah. So how much do you think these will go for? So I think um, the cup That's itself good. is probably like 20 bucks maybe? I haven't looked up specifics yet. All right, well... We'll, we'll have to talk more in the future when it sells about what it is, but for now, there, I know there's plenty of people watching that are curious, more curious about some of the dish stuff you pick up. Yeah. So, like, I recognize the print because of the last one you got, but there's no other markings on here, is there, that says what it is? No, and the only way that, well, there is. It, right in the very, very center of this, you're not going to be able to see it on camera. Yeah, I, I can't even see it with my eyeballs. There's you a weird to, like, shape. Hit the light a certain way. What does it say? It, there's an L on it. Okay. So L, that's the brand for Libby. L-I-B-B-E-Y. So another question then. Are all Libby glasses like kind of expensive and resellable, or is this just like an upper end Libby glass? This is just a particularly rare okay. one. Because I do recall the other day we were at a Savers and you saw some Libby glasses and yes. you wanted them, but they were too expensive. Yeah. So Libby is a pretty, you know, it's like Corel and Corning, where it's a popular brand, okay. but they make a lot of stuff. Gotcha. I think Libby still might make glasses. I'll have to look that up to be sure. But, um, they made a ton of stuff and a lot of it is just like you might like it but not worth a lot right um but these are because people really want them and they're hard to find all right well if you're looking for some more dishes to look for at the thrift store uh keep an eye out for the libby brand but more so just keep an eye out for this print because these are beautiful they are pretty i i uh i do like them quite a bit but i also will like the amount of money we'll get for them very true all right <laughs> let's head on to the next stop all right next stop are you ready i'm ready i'm ready ready are you ready 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 Ooh, there's a lot here to look at i see a lot of sports but oh baby getting bad i have a serious question who in their right mind eats only this much popcorn you would fit like four kernels in that that's just an atrocity Ooh, look at this there's like 10 of them dollar 49 dollar 49 there's another one i think i'm just gonna get all of them okay is it time for a card already i found something cool it's these like mcdonald's disney cups and there's like six of them there's another one that matches here is ooh, that one's pretty it's got pocahontas on it i got simba and then you got goofy surfing at typhoon lagoon This, is, this one's fun. I haven't seen this one before. It's 25th anniversary. That's cool. And then I think another goofy. No, this one's Mickey. That's so pretty. I mean, these two are the coolest. They're like 99 cents a piece. I don't think they're worth much, but they could be cool on a booth. Ooh, give me. Looky here. Mario and Luigi, we will. Four bucks. Four fifty. We'll take aftermarket gamecube no thanks there's so much on this wall to look at here's a 
Chuka's NES mini knockoff, but I don't really want to mess with that. Now, this is pretty awesome. That is a HDMI switcher, and I'm very happy, very, very happy to have one because I had one to keep all my modern consoles switching, and I burnt it out. Uh, I, I think I plugged the wrong power supply in or something. I don't remember what I did, but I burnt it up. So now I've got a four, a four to one. Is it just me or is this an Alice in Wonderland clock? Want. All right, I think I found something that I've been looking for. Now, you guys have to help us. What do we fill this lamp with? Dice, Pokemon, marbles, uh, I don't know what else. I can't think of anything else, but I've been wanting to get a glass lamp and fill it with something. That's beautiful. It is. It's a good one. Do we want to get a shade now? Ooh, square shade. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. All right, are you getting this lamp too? Yes, isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. Only 10 bucks. All right, well, we're buying lamps too. We, we bought, bought lamps! Why did we buy lamps? Mine's better than your lamp. All right, your lamp is better than my lamp, but like mine's gonna be cool too when I fill it with something. So comment below, seriously, what should I fill this with? I mean, dice would be easy. I thought like filling it with little Pokemon toys so it filled up with Pokemon would be cool. Bouncy balls would be cool. I don't know bouncy balls would be so cool. Cause like you want somebody to look at the lamp and go, oh, that's a X lamp. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, cause I could fill it with dice and we could put polka dots on the side. Like Ooh. it's like it's dice, I, you know. That's I don't a good know. Idea. That could be cool, but I want something more clever, some specific toys. Now, also comment below: Should we put this in Hannah's antique flea market booth, dishes booth, and just sell it, make some money, or should we paint it bright yellow and permanently attach it in my booth? Because that would be kind of cool. You can't tell me that wouldn't look awesome yellow. It would be cool yellow, but I like it this way. I do. I do like it too. Um, all right, well, let's run through the rest of the stuff we got. I got like 15 of these Pokemon tins. I've got some in my booth and they've been selling for a few bucks each. So I'll make a few dollars on each one of those. I got a bunch of wrapped up stuff because it's glasses. I got a bunch of Mickey Mouse and Disney cups. They're really pretty. Very I nice. got out the two lamest ones. Sorry, the rest are really cool. I got, I got the set pretty happy about that. I think I actually had the Mario one at one point, but sold it with a Wii that we sold. Here we go, this one's cool. I ended up grabbing a Xbox 360 controller keyboard. I don't have one. What else did we get? I got a game in here somewhere. There it is. Oh yeah. So I got Hot Shots Golf for PS3. I didn't have any PS3 Hot Shot Golf. And then I also got this, uh, small super small jenga set but it's not branded uh, i'm gonna put this with that rubik's cube and stuff that i got at the last stop on in my toy booth i promise you somebody would pay six or seven dollars for that especially if they're like oh i'll get this in a rubik's cube what are this it is an hdmi switcher so i'll be able to plug all my modern consoles into my tv uh, a week or two ago in a video i put all of my modern consoles in one place and i kind of rigged up a system where i could easily switch them without doing a lot of work and that was not ideal, but it was just what I had because uh, I don't have a HDMI switcher, or I didn't at the time. But we got one now. Uh, it's not enough. I wish I had one that had six. Mm. There's like, there's four consoles we play regularly, and then a couple more HDMI ones where like we play time to time, but it's better than nothing. It's, I'll only have to get down on my hands and knees and switch HDMI every now and then. I keep finding more of these. Yeah. This is just a bag full of cups. Got Pinocchio. Is there nothing else in there but cups? No, nope, just cups. All right, well, that's everything that we got at that stop. I'm pretty happy about that stop, so I don't think I'm ready to quit yet. Let's go to another one. Yay! Here we go, another Goodwill. Haven't been here in probably two weeks, I think, so hopefully this was nice and restocked. We hit this one every day for like a week in a row and kind of got bored of it, but I think enough time has passed. How's this one for a cake tin? It's a little teddy bear, but he's full. Just paint him like a big old gummy bear, it's delicious. 
these are pretty interesting. They have these in the hanging bag section. So it's only three bucks for this bag of these three like painted glassware. I can't tell. I think it says Anchor Hawking on the bottom. I can't really tell. It might be Fire King though, which if it is, might be worth it for three bucks. And I'm so bummed about this little Tupperware measuring cup. I wish it had the rest of them and it doesn't have a price tag. So I feel like at one point there was more of them. I feel like someone just took the rest of them or something or I'm just not able to find it yet. I need to look. So much to talk about right here. First of all, one of those coin slidey arcade machines. I guess it's just for pennies or something. Black Ranger, let's go. And then it's your boy. I probably have to buy at least these. I kind of want to buy that, but what am I going to do with it? It had a sticker here that was torn off. And it's battery powered. That's awesome. Uh oh. So this is weird. There's a set of these little mugs here that are all tied together. It's a set of four of them. It's great. For $2.49. Lift them up. One of them goes for eight, so I should get that. Okay. All right, so we got some weird stuff at this stop. Uh, this is a wand with an IR sensor. There's some, I can't remember exactly what it is, but there's some, uh, I don't know if it's like an escape room experience or what, but there's some experiential thing you can go do and get your own wand and interact with stuff. Uh, not unlike you do at Harry Potter World if you've ever been. Uh, but I can't remember exactly what it is. I remember looking it up the first time I found some one of these, because for a while I collected wands. I had all the Harry Potter wands and uh, just any odd wand like this I found I bought. But I got this one because I have a few of these at my toy booth and they've sold. So people are collecting these. I guess people like I was that collected wands. But I had to get this one. It's got a wolf head on it. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Pretty dope. All right. And then I got a Power Ranger. Very nice, very nice. What did you get? I got some dishes that were really cheap. Um, I saw you with an armful. This little set of four mugs, this is Galaxy by Sakura. I don't know what they so are. So it's not the same thing as those other ones. They could go with them pretty well. They could, yeah. They're just, I think you can get them in like better homes and gardens, but they were two bucks. She gave me that for free. Did she really? Yeah. Here, take it. On it. She's That's like, funny. I'll just give it to Tupperware, you. Tupperware, one cup measuring cup. Very nice. And then the last thing. The little Dr. Seuss. And, and I guess you're just buying odd stuff like this to put in your flea market booth, right? Yeah. 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 I just, figured somebody would like this. It was only a dollar, so sure. All right. Well, very nice. We've had some good finds today. Some odd finds. I bought a magic wand, so. <laughs> today was magical. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, Let's get on up out of here. be all the thrifting we do for today. I tell you what, we've got the perfect ending for the day. We're gonna pick up some Chipotle, take it home. I've got ice cold lemonade in the fridge. Could you think of a better ending to an awesome day of thrifting? Chipotle and lemonade. And guess what? I had a coupon. I got my burrito bowl free. It's like the perfect day. It's the perfect day is what it is. I'm so hungry though. I'm super hungry. All right, guys, we're back. We're about to eat some Chipotle. We're gonna talk about our favorite things that we got real quick before we get out of here. What's your favorite thing? I really like those cups, but this lamp is goat. My favorite thing is the Chipotle, I'm just kidding. I guess <laughs> both of our favorite things today are lamps. I know it's odd, but I'm telling you, I've actually, I'll be honest with you, I filmed a clip three times this week where I picked up a lamp like this and talked about what I was gonna do with it and then deleted it because I didn't end up buying that lamp. But finally, I found the perfect one. Again, guys, please comment below, what should I fill this with? I don't, I, I haven't made my decision. Dice, I don't think dice is gonna be it, I just don't. I'm hoping someone will comment something clever that I haven't thought of and I'll do that. But uh, a runner up for me, Looney Tunes, back in action, which is really convenient because you guys, you, the camera is actually setting on my GameCube shelf. So there's that. Now listen guys, appreciate you hanging out with me today. It always makes the day better. 
before you get out of here, do me a couple favors. Check out the merch, tendostore.com. Come chat with us on the Discord, the link's below. Hit the subscribe button, pretty please. We went up like 40 subs today. It was a little bit weird. Maybe it's because we just hit 2,000 subs a couple days ago and our last couple videos have kind of been killing it. We're kind of on the uptrend, so it would actually really help us keep that trajectory if you just hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That's gonna be it. The only other thing I could ask of you guys is listen, have a good day. That's it, peace out.